Yeah, the name Dad's Cookies started off with my daughters. They would, uh, when they were talking about cookies that they were that they would get from friends or somebody else would make them, they would always say, "Are they Dad's Cookies?" or "What are we having tonight? Are we having Dad's Cookies?" So it was a name that we just kind of joked about and kind of stuck. We use all the old-fashioned ingredients, so we keep we kind of keep our recipe simple, but at the same time we make it unique because of the thickness of the cookie and then the extra soft center. How the whole business got started was actually during the pandemic. At the very beginning of the pandemic, I got laid off of my regular job. Um, my my youngest daughter, she was living in Los Angeles. She came and stayed with me. I ended up being laid off for four months and her and I would kind of meet together on my couch and talk about um, you know, what we can do to pass time, what we can do to kind of keep doing positive things. So we decided to do something for the community and for ourselves too. And that was to bake cookies. And it really started in my neighborhood. I wanted to bake cookies for the neighborhood that I lived in in Clovis. So it really started in my own kitchen. And um, then once we started baking, we started getting a lot of orders. And you fast forward like a couple months later, we were getting so many orders. I was waking up at three o'clock in the morning and I would bake and then I would deliver. They just liked having those freshly baked cookies. And I think it gave a, a, a people a sense of feeling good during that wild time we were living in. The community has just been unbelievably supportive uh, during all this. The community, they have shown up. I mean, I've gotten to know a lot of these people and, and, and gained some pretty neat relationships through the whole cookie business. And um, a lot of these people, I know they live in Northwest Fresno or they live in Clovis and we're, we're at downtown Fresno doing a, a, a pop-up event. Sometimes it's 105 degrees outside and all of a sudden, and we'll, and we'll have a line, sometimes, you know, 10 people long. And I'll look in the back of the line and I'll see a uh, person that I know doesn't even live close by and they came by to just buy two cookies. The community support has been amazing.